Hannah here, welcome back to the channel. For everyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah, I love all things Disney, Loungefly, Star Wars, Harry Potter, so please do consider liking and subscribing. I have a triple unboxing today. I want to start with an item that I'm really excited has finally arrived. It's from Kingdom Threads, who also did this beautiful jumper. You've probably seen me wear a lot of their items, to be fair, because I love them. I will link their shop down below, it just has care instructions on the back. Now, I did take it out of the um like plastic wrapping that it came in just because it was delivered on a very rainy day and it was very wet this is fine it was just the outer part so i did take it out now they've done a new princess line and i bought a tangled item i can't remember and i can't tell if it was the hoodie or the jumper that i bought i remember that i got the purple one but i can't remember if it was a hoodie or a jumper one of those two so we'll open it up open it up Shove that down there. Oh, I think it's hoodie. Hoodie! More hoodies! So the colour, it's like a beautiful lilac colour. The back is just nice and plain. The arms are plain. The front, oh my goodness. Let me that tag out of the way. It's from their Rapunzel options. It says, I see the light. It has the lanterns there. How beautiful is this? You can see it's all embroidered on. It's so beautiful. They had the lilac as an option and I think there was like a pink colour. I personally figured the lilac, I mean you tend to associate Rapunzel with the lilac colour anyway. I, like purple's my favourite colour. So I figured purple, purple, purple. Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. They've said as well they're doing more princess items, so I'm hoping maybe, it, maybe if not this time, but maybe one day there might be a Snow Elsa, Spirit Elsa option, maybe, someday, hopefully. So that's item number one. Item number two, it's been a long time coming. Now, Owl Post, when we went to the Harry Potter studio tour down in London, there were a few things that I had seen on the online website that they just didn't have in stock. I think it's, it's generic everywhere. Everywhere's having shipping delays and stock issues right now. Excuse the noise, one second. More than one second. Lovely. Skizzles down. Right, so there was an item that I really wanted that they didn't have in stock online. They didn't have any of them in the shop of any of the houses. It's back online. When I ordered, I ordered this about two weeks ago. I have to say they're not the quickest with shipping. It's a couple weeks before kind of ordering your item and then getting it shipped and arriving. So not the quickest, but it's here, it's fine. And they did have them for all the houses. Whether they're still in stock, I don't know. Hoodie. You tell I love hoodies. Oh, shut that down. Slytherin hoodie. Because I am a Slytherin. My husband is a Hufflepuff. Although I'm similar to a Hufflepuff. A bit of a hybrid Slytherpuff. Oh, and my husband sometimes has Ravenclaw traits as well. What's Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw together? Hufflepuff. Anyway, yoink. so they do these hoodies for all the houses. Is there, oh yes, paper in the back. I could hear a rustling. Bit of ASMR there. Go away. So they have these for all the houses. They are very similar in the design, as in they all have the grey at the bottom, and then depending which house you go for depends on the colour and obviously the name of the house on the front. Actually, we'll go with the back. Yeah. It's the same kind of design all the way around. Grey at the bottom, except for the arms. And then a band of white, and then a band of whichever colour your house is. <gasps> Look! I didn't know there was anything on the back. So on the back there, under where the hood is, obviously mine has an S for Slytherin, I'm presuming, like Gryffindor would have a G, for example. <gasps> I like. Is there anything on the sleeves? Yes. Oh no. We love detail. There is, ooh, another S on the sleeve. I think it's been, oh, can I unbend that a little? 
Oh, come on, Hannah. I'm not doing this very well. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. Check the other sleeve. That was on the left sleeve. There is nothing on the right sleeve, which is fine. Prices are a price. £45, British pounds. I got a size small because they are, I think they were unisex. So size small works for me. And then what else, what else did I see? Oh, here we go. On the pocket, the front pocket that you get on hoodies, it says ambition, pride, cunning. And it has a little snake on there. So I'm loving this. It was between, there were two items that I wanted. It was between this hoodie and there was a green zip up jacket, which I'll pop a really quick picture of that up. I went with the hoodie in the end because I tend to prefer hoodies over zip up jackets. This is so nice. This is almost slightly fleecy-ish for the lettering. If I hold that up real close, hopefully you can see what I mean by that. So that is item number two. Now, item number three, I have had for a few weeks, actually. I just haven't properly shown or unboxed it, so I thought I will add it in now, because why not? I don't know why I haven't shown it yet. I'm going to grab it. Now, it's right next to me, but it came wrapped in a very specific way. When you see how it was wrapped, it probably makes sense as to what it is. Excuse noise. came in a box with the purple and the black paper around it so that will probably give you a hint as to what it is which I think is really nice I think it was geek call that I got this from so they put those in all the boxes for this bag Ooh. can you tell what it is yet sorry for any noise oh, a bit more ASMR Oh, just fell out. Maleficent Dragon Grail Backpack. I managed to get one. Now it's beautiful. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it just because Sleeping Beauty is not one of my favourite Disney princesses. My favourites are Cinderella, Rapunzel, and Ariel. Now, see, Snow Queen Elsa is my favourite after Sorcerer Mickey. Sorcerer Mickey, ultimate favourite, Snow Queen Elsa. But don't include Snow Queen Elsa with the princesses because she's a queen and then Spirit Elsa. So that's my logic. Whether you agree, I don't know. But that's my personal logic. Might be flawed. But it is beautiful, actually, in person. It is really nice. I haven't taken it out of the packaging. So I haven't had a proper look yet. I love how it's so subtle as well. So you can see it's obviously when Prince Philip fights Maleficent on the bridge it's very subtle it's so pretty playing on both sides where's the badge oh it's right there oh my hand just covered it lounge fly playing on the sides and what i love as well that i've just noticed is the lining for the zip is a beautiful purple color again purple being my favorite color the back is there anything on the back no nope, back and bottom just nice and plain but sometimes different bags have things on the back i think some of the rapunzel ones have something on the back i think the hair goes around the back on that one so lovely and plain on the back and i love the fact see maleficent is kind of oh what's the word now embossed in like printed in pushed in i don't know if that's the right word embossed but hopefully you can see what i mean where the design is actually pushed into the material and then Prince Philip, all of Prince Philip actually, so the horse's cape and his big old shield, he's all kind of sewn in. It is beautiful. Is there a price? Disney villains. I have a feeling it was either $64.99 or $69.99. I cannot remember. Oh wow, it's very tightly packaged. Got in a pocket. She has it in a pocket. We're loving it. Oh, I can put that that way a bit. 
So the lining, what does it say? Does it just say Maleficent? I think it just says Maleficent, kind of with her face. And that beautiful back pocket, right there, in a beautiful deep purple colour. Just so pretty. Oh, I don't know if you're changing my mind or I keep it doing not. See, this one doesn't have a front pocket. A lot of Loungefly do have a front pocket. This one is obviously going to be a lot thinner. I mean, this one doesn't. Although it does have a front slip pocket, if you can see in the peripheries just there. But this one doesn't have a front pocket. But with that full design, it doesn't really need one, to be honest. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!